Let's check out what's going on behind the Alliance wall. Each one has three identical player stations. Each player station has a shelf for operator consoles with a strip of two inch hook and loop tape loop side up. Each player station has an ethernet cable which connects your operator console to the field system. The e-stop button lets you disable your robot if necessary. New this year is an AC outlet for your operator console. Each outlet has just a three amp circuit breaker, so be careful not to trip it. If you find yourself in the middle station, watch out for the cabinet under the shelf. Above each station is a set of stack lights. They relay diagnostic information. The bottom amber light indicates if the e-stop has been pressed. The top two lights match the Alliance color. They convey a few different things. If they're off, it's before the match and the robot is linked but disabled. If they're on, the robot is connected and enabled so you'd only see this during a match. If they're flashing, it's because the robot isn't connected to its driver station. The white starting line is two and a half feet behind the Alliance wall, and everyone must stay behind it during autonomous. The Alliance station is bounded by the Alliance wall, the back of the low goals, and white perimeter tape. The inbounder can feed the ball to the field without having to go over the Alliance wall. Each player station has a light string. Most importantly, it's only safe for people to enter the field when the string is green. During the match, it indicates the zones in which the team has been granted possessions. Make sure you watch the Robot Zone Indicators video for elaboration on that specific behavior. Each alliance has a pedestal centered in the back of their alliance station. It's 18 inches round by 30 inches tall and is internally lit. The pedestal is used to stage the next ball to be fed on the field and also indicates when the ball is available for play. This procedure is used to ensure that you will be able to put a new ball into play as soon as you score your current one. The field crew will keep a ball queued up on the pedestal. When the pedestal is lit, the ball can be retrieved by the Alliance and fed onto the field by the inbounder. It will stay lit until a referee has indicated to the field system that there's been a possession. Once it goes off, the field crew will queue up the next ball. The light will stay off and the ball is unavailable until the ball on the field is scored. There are dynamic things to be aware of back here this year. After a ball is scored in a high goal, it could drop on you, so heads up. Be aware of the field crew. They'll be clearing scored balls away during the match. They will try to stay out of your way. Thank <laughs> you.